All right, welcome back to the channel. Let's get into another break. And for this one, I have 20 packs of the 2021 Tim Hortons NHL trading cards. Now, these are the last and final 20 packs that I will open up because these are now sold out at my local Tim Hortons and I'd imagine in the entire area. So regardless, we're going to rip into these 20 packs and this will add to my set to see what I need to complete and perhaps complete some of the subsets that I've yet to complete. So we're just going to get right into this. So opening up those 20 packs and I do want to say give a shout out to those collectors who have reached out letting me letting me know what they've got in their their uh, doubles and what they can definitely trade or sell so we're just going to go to the hits as usual so this is the cup winners of Sidney Crosby and perhaps do a quick recap if there are some interesting cards that I've not showcased so far on the channel so we have Nathan McKinnon, red die cut there. So I did complete the base. We have a standouts of Patrick Kane. I did complete the standouts. I also completed the, the cup winners. And we have a trios hit of the Predators, so I don't have this. That'll definitely fit well in terms of my master set. So franchise trios, Duchesne, Yossi, and Rene, T19. So that's one that will come off that list of needed cards. So that's a good hit there. Always love those trios hits. We have a cup winners of Duncan Keith. All right, so that goes into the hit pile there. So let's move on to our next set of five. Like I said, those collectors out there that have reached out, awesome. I do commend you for that. And we'll definitely be in touch in terms of trying to complete our respective master sets. So this is Patrick Line, red die cut. And we have a Connor McDavid gold etchings. So in terms of this, I did have a collector reach out and let me know what uh, numbers they have for their trades. So that one, I believe, will definitely be completed. The gold etchings. We have a Connor McDavid again, red die cut. So DC 44. So there is a die cut of McDavid. And what do we have here? Another franchise trios. So two trios hits within 20 packs. That is shattering the odds. Usually they fall one per 24 packs. And I do have this already. So Besser, Pedersen, Quinn Hughes. A nice addition to that. Perhaps that'll come in handy with a, a sale or a trade. All right, so pack number 10. We have a standouts of Brady Kachuk. So there we are. Let's move these base out of the way. And get these other packages ready to be cracked open there. So carrying on, we have Orion O'Reilly red die cut. And what do we have here? We have a canvas of Patrick Kane. Very sharp looking cards. Those canvas cards. And we have a phenoms of Patrick Line. So Patrick Line, phenoms. Just going to put that spacer behind it. There you go, in case you have not seen those before. If you're new to the channel or new to this set, well, there you go. That's what a clear cut looks like. I, I do recall saying die cut in my previous video, but that's a clear cut. So I want to correct, 
correct myself in terms of the viewers. That's a Artemi Panarin canvas. So just showcasing the back for you. All right, so we're ripping along pretty quick. We've got 15 packs down and five to go. This is a Zdeno Chara Cup winners. It's a very flashy card there. That is the back. I do enjoy this set. It's going to be tough not to open up more of these packs because while the supply has been have been uh, decreased decreasing diminishing in my area Mitch Marner die cut and of course across the hobby world but nonetheless I mean that's the uh, that's the life of a collector sets do come and go and you'll have to fish for the uh, remainders in a hobby shop or perhaps with a friend. So John Carlson there, cup winners. So I'm excited. Either way, it'll definitely be completed. We have a standouts of Connor Hellebuck right there. So two packs remain. And we'll do a recap with the uh, hits of the break. And we have another Phenoms. This one is Austin Matthews. We'll put that spacer back there again. So it stands out from the background. So awesome hit nonetheless put those base over there and the last and final pack of this 20 pack break and most likely my tim horton's adventure for 2021 this is johnny goudreau a johnny goudreau gold etchings right there in these base i'll put aside so let me do a quick recap and then we will conclude this uh break this set and then start reaching out to my fellow collectors to complete it. So Johnny Goudreau, the gold etchings, as you've uh, just seen, Connor Hellebuck standouts, cup winners, John Carlson, Mitch Marner, red die cut cup winners, Zdeno Chara, Artemi Panarin canvas, Patrick Kane canvas, Ryan O'Reilly, red die cut, standouts of Brady Kachuk, Connor McDavid, red die cut, and gold etchings back to back, Line A, red die cut, Duncan Keith Cup winners, Patrick Kane, standouts, Nathan McKinnon, Timbit Poster Boy, and then Cup winners of Sid the Kid, who is also a Timbit Poster Boy. And the hits of this break, there are four, Austin Matthews and Patrick Laine, Phenoms, as well as these franchise trios of the Canucks and the Predators, going well with the background of the Edmonton Oilers and the Pittsburgh Penguins. So there you have it, 20 packs in the books, and my journey has come to an end in terms of the available packs that were at the store. So if you haven't seen my videos, my previous videos of the Tim Hortons breaks, I do have a four-part mini-series as well as a flashback into this set. Regardless, if you enjoyed this break, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe if not subscribed already. And as always, I will be back with more breaks in the future. Until then, bye for now.